Hi guys, what we're going to do here is an unboxing of the brand new Bauer 30 to 60,000 BTU forced air propane portable heater. It says on the box it heats up to 1,350 square feet. It does need a AC power outlet. It includes the hose and regulator but no tank. Got some specifications here on the back of the box. Um, heat range 30 to 60 thousand BTU, obviously adjustable. Propane fuel, forced air type heater. Again, variable heat settings. Ignition is continuous spark. Interesting. Uh, 10 foot hose length, so you can get the tank away from the heater. And then uh, nine and a quarter inch cord length so I guess you gotta pretty much run this thing off an extension cord interesting uh, it says it runs up to 10 hours with a 20 pound propane tank which is your standard propane exchange tank quick start ignition glove friendly controls variable heat control dial sturdy enclosed base and adjustable heat angle And we're back. Having some battery issues with the camera. Manual. Hose with regulator. And the actual heater itself. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there is a, a wrench there. First impression, it's a lot sturdier than I expected it to be. Fairly nicely made, does not look like total junk, which I kind of expected. It's your gas inlet, power cord, ignition button and power button, all your warnings, it's got an actual schematic on it, very interesting. So for a tinkerer like me, it could be repaired if something goes wrong, it looks like. Big old jet engine. Again, I don't know if you can see any of this because I have no monitor on here. Yes, valve. I'll have to read the instructions. But so far, not bad. So just a heads up on the front of the manual, <coughs> pardon me, on the back of the manual is a limited 90 day warranty. So if you're concerned about that, you should probably get the extended warranty. Again, just a heads up. Um, normal warnings and safety instructions in the manual. He's only on a level, stable, fireproof surface, surface out of reach of children. Uh, just a reminder, this is a propane heater. Uh, from what I read, they burn pretty good efficiency, but you still need to use it in a ventilated area to avoid carbon, carbon monoxide buildup, which will kill you, and or oxy, oxygen depletion, which will kill you. The combination of the two will do it very efficiently. So you definitely want to run this in a ventilated area. Again, you will need a three-prong grounded 110 outlet. Obviously we need to remove the protective caps. And it looks like a pretty simple attachment. 
no reverse threads or anything. Again, they provided a wrench, which will give it a nice little snug. So one thing I do want to show is when we go to hook up the propane hose, obviously again, we're going to remove our safety cap. But it does say it. I don't know if you can see it on there, but it is the internal threads of your propane tank, which are reverse threaded. So you're actually going to go lefty tighty, righty loosey, if that makes any sense to you. I usually turn it clockwise a couple turns just to get it so we're not cross threading. And then again, counterclockwise or to the left to actually attach the hose. So at this point I have basically given a leak check to all my connections for the propane. I have my power cord 120 volt, pardon me earlier I said 110, plugged into a short extension cord. Uh, what the instructions say now is basically to turn the power switch on and let the fan run for 30 seconds. I'm actually not counting off 30 seconds, I'm uh, reading the directions. <laughs> All right, it says don't stand in front of it when we light it. We're slowly opening the gas valve on the propane tank. And we're going to open the gas knob on the heater a quarter of a turn. Interesting. All right, so we have to get behind the heater. We're going to open a quarter of a turn. Just about that. We're going to push and hold the gas valve on the left side and push and hold the ignition button on the right side. Hold the gas valve for five seconds and then release the gas valve. We are lit, by the way. I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah, you can see it there, eh? Ooh so as far as performance, as you can tell by this thermometer, it's 72 degrees in the shop. But that's because I live in Jacksonville, Florida. And even though it's the beginning of December, technically winter and the holiday season, it's 72 degrees in the shop. So I have no need for a heater currently. However, two days ago, it was 30 degrees in the shop. Hence my purchase of a shop heater. So, we'll do more of a performance video here, probably in a few days when it cools off some more again. Or a few hours, it is Florida after all. So, after shutting off the propane at the tank, and then shutting the valve on the heater unit itself, it says to let the, run, let the fan run for two minutes, obviously to let everything cool off. Once you've done that, hit your power switch and you're done.